Um, just not long got home from working with the um, working with the boys. It's um, on a Thursday. We just do an hour session um, of small sided games um, with some conditions. Well, not not with conditions, but I I place focus points on on um, the play. So um, today, w what I did was um, we had six seven minute games and um, a point for a focus point for each um, second game. So the first game was free play without me um, giving any sort of feedback, and then the second game, uh, I, I made it a little bit more intense. Um, with a focus point of um, your first touch taking the ball forward. Um, second game, focus point was um, use the pivot player, so we had a 4v4 with a pivot player, so you had an overload um, to try to use a pivot player to combine to go forward. Um, third focus point was to um, pass through the pockets, so identify the pass that you can make in between the defenders. Um, so I, 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 I would use a, um, a keyword, which would just be pockets, pockets, so they have to look for the pocket to play the pass. And obviously the defending team have to then try to restrict those opportunities for them, so no spaces would be the instructions to the opposite team. Um, it's it's good. It's the training sessions are usually okay with the boys. You know, they um, they work hard. They do. They're good guys as well. Um, the parents are very very enthusiastic. Really pleased that there's um, a clear structure to what we're doing as well. Um, I think the reason I'm so tired is just because I'm I'm doing a lot of um, driving around at the moment with the with the coaching. And it really does take a lot out of you. Um, tomorrow I've got um, an interview um, with Chelsea. Hopefully they'll put me into a college. Um, so I've got that interview with that college tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock. So I have to plan my session now. Um, then I have um, a school session afterwards. And then after that I have um, a development centre with under 15 girls. Um, so, you know, the under 15s girls session, I don't even know if I'll have time to plan that one. So, just running out of hours in a day at the moment. Um, but, you know, that's the, there aren't many um, other options really. So, I, I think a lot of coaches will be in the same position that I'm in with just constantly, constantly chasing your tail. You know, you just can't find enough hours in the day. Um, it's a good thing to be busy with. It, it's good to be busy with football, with soccer, with with working with players. Um, but it would be nice if it was just one full-time job, so you didn't have to spend so much time driving from place to place. And half the time I can't remember where I'm meant to be going or who I'm meant to be w working with. <laughs> you know, so that's a bit bad. Um, but I, I do like working with the boys. Um, I think one of the things that I'm concerned about for my interview tomorrow is that it's a boys under 18s side um, and although um, the guys from Chelsea believe in me as a coach they obviously have got faith in me um, which is nice you know um, I, I'm, I'm sensing that there may be a case of a little bit of opposition from the um, the setup that they're looking to place me into, because you won't have that many um, places where you'll see female coaches working with males of that age. So I mean, the boys I have right now, the under 16s, you know, they are now getting it. They are now my players, and I think they identify with me as their as their manager. Um, but being realistic, uh, I think the transition for male coaches into the female game is far more accepted and readily um, commonplace. 
but then to have it the other way around, a female coach working with players of the age of 16, 17, 18, male players, um, I think there's a lot more, uh, there are a lot more barriers there, um, which is a shame because I, I enjoy working with, with, with male players. Um, it's, it's another challenge and it's what you, it's, it's what you put yourself up against to, to see how you perform and if you've improved the player's performance. So that's why I enjoy it. Um, I've worked with female players a lot and it's nice to have that bit of di diversity, you know. So that is the reason that I'm tired. Um, and then obviously I'm, I'm a little bit sort of um, concerned about my, uh, my prospects tomorrow for my interview. Um, and now I have a session to try and plan. So tomorrow will be the best defenders against the best attackers. And I'll make it a phase of play. So um, attacking through the middle third, that gives an opportunity for the attacking players straight away to be up against the um, defensive players. And then at least you're getting into your topic and you should get your points out there. So that's what I'll be looking to do in the interview tomorrow. Um, if I don't get the position at the school, at the college, then obviously the session didn't go too well.